Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Tiny Tastic Talks. Let's begin. So, last week, I figured we should talk about it because last week was the one year anniversary of me being diagnosed with functional neurological disorder and being hospitalized. At any rate, today I wanted to talk about anxiety because Anxiety and stress ha has been a part of my life, well, for forever. Uh, it's probably been a part of your life for forever too, but we all just manage it in different ways, okay? And so my way of managing it, I don't think is always the smartest way of managing it, uh, but I have some things that have worked for me and some things to explain before we get there. So last week you saw me cry, makes total sense. I was emotional, I was upset, I was remembering, I was stressed out about other things. I was on medication that caused me to be more agitated, more just heightened in terms of the energy, in terms of startlement, I was just always on edge. I felt like I was always just ready to react to whatever was going on. However small the stimulus was or whatever, stimuli, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It, it could have been dropping cutlery or something. I would react. I had been feeling this way for the last couple of weeks. And I've been taking this medication just to see if it could work since May. So last week I ended up contacting my neurologist and saying, look, like this is not working. I am freaking out. I had been stuttering for, for three days consistently over every single word. And it's not a stutter that I had prior to being diagnosed with FND. It was something that actually has been diagnosed as not even a stutter. <laughs> I remember this speech pathologist that came and saw me in the hospital last year, heard it and was like, I have never heard anything like this before. So essentially what it was and what it is, is that sometimes I end up literally sounding like a broken record. So I will repeat a part of a word, usually the beginning or the end. And I'll sound like I'm my own like MC or like rap artist which is pretty funny, but when you're stuck like that for three days, it is not funny anymore. It's crossed that line and you can't communicate and you, your family or whoever is around you, like you're having to try to calm yourself down because the level of nervous energy or whatever you want to call it within you is like preventing you from even having an actual conversation. So that was not fun last week. So that was right before I filmed, I was like, I can't do this. Like, I can't, th th something's really wrong here. I had other stuff that was stressing me out, but I think the medication was the thing that was just causing everything to just go overboard. All I have to say is that I'm off the medication. I feel more stable a week later and more like myself. I still experience things because of my condition. So the fact that my nervous system is on red alert, okay, that, that is still a part of what I experience. However, it's not to the level that it was last week where I could not talk properly for three days like I am right now. I was going like the, 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 this. That's what I was doing all the t -t -t time. This, see? So that's not me putting it on. That's me stopping to concentrate on the video and sometimes it just happens so anyways okay so my takeaway from this and for you guys is if you are on medication that you're not sure is working i would start to compile a list of how you're feeling that's what i had to do uh i i am on other medication that works for me this was a trial run for a med, another med that could help with certain symptoms of mine. I think you just got to be really aware 
of what's going on. If your family members are telling you that you are more agitated or that you are different than how you were and it's not really in a good way, okay? Listen to them. My mom had told me back in May that she didn't like it. I had noticed some signs back then too that were not the were a bit concerning for me, but I didn't say anything because it was only like really two weeks after I'd started taking it. So you know how they always say, well, it takes like a few months for your body to get used to it and stuff like that. So, so I didn't want to just be done with it and then feel like, maybe, well, maybe it could have helped, but I wasn't on it for too long or I wasn't on it for long enough. So now I don't know. But three months later or more than that now, uh, I know that it's just not the medication for me. So yeah, make a list of your symptoms of how you're feeling. If the, you know, write down the symptoms you're experiencing because of the medication or what you feel is heightening it. Or, or maybe you feel like you're always tired. You know, that's one thing I was experiencing too. I was always tired. Um, so more tired than usual. So another thing that I can say is communicate how you're feeling, communicate what's not going right. Don't be afraid of being an inconvenience because I was nervous about writing my neurologist to begin with. And it's only when I had spoken to my neurophysiotherapist that he was like, no, 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 no. You have to contact your neurologist and like, let him know how you're feeling because you're only going to see him in a month from now or five weeks from now, actually. I could have been a total wreck for five weeks and that's not what I wanted. So uh, that's something else. Something that has helped me throughout times when I'm anxious or stress. First of all, I'm the, I'm the person that thinks too far in the future. I, I have to scale it back. I've talked about this before. Scale it back. Think about what do you have to do today? Today, I had a to-do list. I completed everything on my to-do list except for filming this, which I'm doing now. So, you know, like structure it like that. And I haven't always been one for to-do lists like that because I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. Like I have it in my head. Or sometimes I would feel like it would be only for work that I would need to do that for. But if you have little projects you need to do or whether it's around the house or errands you have to run, like just like you would write a grocery list, write down stuff for yourself to make it more manageable for you in here and for you in here and for you to be able to function. Okay. The next thing is like breathing techniques. You might know this from a therapist you're seeing or from online, you can find these types of things. There's a, uh, there's many apps for this now. There's Headspace, there's Calm, there's Breathe, there's like all kinds, and then there's YouTube. But hey, if you would like me to do a relaxation exercise for chronic pain, I have one. I have other relaxation exercises as well. So if you would like that, then give this video a like or answer in the poll that I'm going to put right here uh, because it helps me know what to do. Talk to me about things that you're dealing with, topics, I don't, you know, so that I know what would be helpful. Unlike all over the place, I apologize. Uh, yeah, okay. <sighs> Going for walks. I haven't done it enough, but it does help because it gets you outside. The weather is still nice, so you still have time to do it. Listening to new music, whether it's Ariana Grande, who just came out with a new album like a month ago now. Okay, I'm late, but like I'm just saying, like if there's music that you like listening to or there's new releases coming out, check them out. Go for walks, go for runs, go to the park, go to somewhere, get some ice cream, eat some Doritos. I want onion rings, okay? That's what I want. Ugh, and I maybe will get them tomorrow. I don't know. Okay. But do stuff that will get you outside of your head because that seems to be my problem, which is wonderful. But no, it's not fun. And it's annoying. If you liked this video, then I hope that you are subscribed. If you haven't checked out stuff that I've done before, 
videos I've talked about. Blah, blah, blah. I think that's like my new thing today. That's my word today is blah, 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 which is really three words, but I don't care. So yeah, okay. Uh, check out videos, you know, and I will see you next Friday. Please, again, let me know if you want relaxation exercises or if you want topics discussed and all that jazz, you can talk to me in the comments. You can message me, stuff like that, okay? I'll leave my email down below too. Cool? Cool. Okay, see you next week.